Bonsoir to the morn. Welcome back to Tom Play's Europe Universalized 4 for absolute beginners. We are back with France. Okay, that's not a big problem. So, <laughs> we still have a ridiculous number of loans, although it's getting slowly slightly better. Guardian Separatists, right, I see. Still have quite a long way to go to get back up to our full military strength, but we once again have the chance to summon the Diet and also to seize land. Hmm. Might seize land now, actually. It's probably a good time. Oh, it's a very good time. Because apparently, Luca is going to fight them for us. Lovely. Very much appreciated. Right. So I'll send the army down. Hopefully they'll get back up before the Picardian separatists arise. And we'll now summon the Diet. Everyone's disloyal, which isn't going to help with our money. What do we have? Another house of worship, well that would help with money, although we're constantly doing the clergy. Nobility want Eastern Burgundy. Now, <laughs> this went horribly badly wrong last time we tried this. So, I'm not really keen to do it. And the bourgeoisie are troubled by our finances. I am also troubled by our finances. But I don't know how quickly we'll be able to fix that, so I think we should do the Magnificent House of Worship. Easier to do, and will actually help with the finances. Okay, so... Oh, then... Yeah, that is good. Level one. Challenging my knowledge of French geography here. Oh, there we go. Right, brilliant. So, we just need a church. So this is not actually the best place to build a church. There are all these places would have been better. But it will help us. And our legitimacy is looking frank. I've already got some papal influence. At least it's rising, so hopefully. Hopefully the king isn't going to die too quickly. Okay, brilliant. That's all fine. Right, so we should also keep an eye out for any opportunities to attack. So we have a Casus Belli. We should try and have Casus Bellies at all times on anyone who's part of the Empire. Obviously, we would also love to have a war with England, but I don't think this is the time because our army isn't in a good state. Florence is attacking the Pope. Provence is an ally. Salute. So we were trying to vassalize. They're insistent that their economic base is too good. Milan. Milan's possible, but we do have one of our allies, Bohemia. There's one of their allies. In fact, probably the main ally. So, not ideal. Administrative idea. Power to buy this idea. Actually, mm, That's an interesting one. If we 
finish the administrative groups. You see here we've got administrative technology cost minus 10%. So in some ways it's almost worth finishing these before we start improving admin tech again. The problem we've got is that we really need modern theocracy. I think we should hold off because that will allow us to start work on exploration ideas and start with the colonizing which we are behind on so let's leave that for now member of the empire okay do you know <laughs> just looking around for people who could theoretically vassalize Austria really has done very well this time. Mm, yeah, we should have a claim on them. And maybe just improve relations with anyone who could do with it. Not as bothered about Aragon at the moment. Okay, brilliant, right. In that case, we should probably move time on again. So we should have... Colonialism spreading. So we just need our money to go up a bit. Brace it. access that's fine juice has ended lost a treasurer okay is there anyone here who can help us yearly inflation reduction all right so our inflation is actually quite high so yearly inflation reduction would be useful completed let's just slow down a little completed the estate agenda so we've gained one base tax which is good so actually the church will be more valuable than it looked. But yeah, we could obviously reduce this manually, but don't really feel the need to because it's already going down fairly rapidly, so that should improve things. Brilliant. Austria has been discovered building a spy network, that's fine. We also need to start fabricating claims. Looks like we already have Callan. That belongs to the Papal State, so let's start here. So in other ways, our first move is about getting enough money to embrace colonialism. There it is. Just to say, we should get an alert for that. Put this rebellion down. <laughs> so at this point, it's only cost 54.66 ducats. Very cheap for an institution, but that's because it had spread everywhere. So we can now get modern theocracy, which should give us a new idea group. And our new idea group needs to be exploration ideas. We are going to want to build up as quickly as we can. Right, quest of a new world. That should allow us to start exploring. Okay, brilliant. We've got here Conventicle Act. Plus 1% missionary strength, minus 1%. Ah, I see, we've got two. And we've eclipsed a rival, which is good. Should give us a bit of prestige. It does mean that the trade embargo is costing us money suddenly, so we need to revoke that. So these two options, we're probably going to ignore one and pass the other. I suppose we could try and pass them both, but it doesn't really make sense 
So we either have stronger missionaries and we don't tolerate her heretics, or we lose some stability and... Actually, we, it becomes more expensive to improve our stability, and our tolerance goes up. Or, of course, we could just pass neither. So I th think toleration of heretics will will be making this religious unity a bit better. So if that goes down, our religious unity will get worse because of the presence of heretics in the nation, which there probably are going to be quite a few. Not particularly keen as France to clamp down too much. I think I may actually ignore both of these this time. Okay, brilliant. Right. Still disloyal estates, but they should be gradually recovering. of expiring Casas Pelis. Can I have a claim on London? But we did, never mind, we're not going to be using it anyway. Right, so in theory we now have exploration ideas. So how this is going to work is we can now get lead for our fleet and we can recruit an explorer. So the point of an explorer is they're able to sail into these shrouded areas. There's a terra incognita. So they basically allow us to explore <laughs> uncharted areas. Now at the moment... We don't have that many, but we should definitely make a start. So we want to try and uncover as many of these areas as we can. It's just how well our ships are going to stand up to the high seas. But we will see. If nothing else, exploration will give us something to do while we are waiting to pay off these loans. So we should probably pay off the loans if we can, rebuild the army. As soon as we have enough diplomatic power, we will be taking the next idea, which will allow us to start sending colonists. So you see our ships have been quite badly damaged. This is actually far enough away that I think as soon as we uncover it, we should turn to home. We are going to start losing ships. Head back there because that's probably the closest point. I'm going to move our colony protectors to the same place. So I'm gradually uncovering Greenland. But yeah, in effect, that's all we want to do. We should when those ships recover, get an alert with a little telescope. Okay, I suppose we can start rebuilding our spy network in England if we're starting to lose our claims. May not want to actually make any claims for a bit. Until we've lost all of them. Claim here on the Empire. Well, part of the empire. Yeah. And just worth checking that Austria isn't really busy. Because if at any point Austria has a, a big cross there, it will be a great time to attack. of Bohemia. This is 
why our inflation's high, you see. Every time we have to renew a loan, it puts it up again. Okay. I guess I was wrong about the telescope, unless the explorers died. No, no, still there. No alerts. Okay. Just a bit of news from other countries. Lots of religious turmoil. Not Austria as emperor again, but they're struggling to get their imperial authority up now because of all the religious infighting, which is basically why I don't think I've ever seen the computer get any further than this. So hopefully they're going to be less of a threat from now on. They might even be forced to invoke some of the changes they've made. Okay, let's see if we can get here. All these areas we uncover are ultimately the knowledge is spread around. With some of the DLCs, well probably one of the DLCs, you can actually sell this information, the things you've uncovered, but we can't do that here. You see we've now uncovered more of a land because we're passing so close to it. I don't know if we're going to be able to go straight for the Caribbean. We could do with doing because that's one of the most coveted areas. Basically because all the trade of the Americas goes through there. But if we can't, then Greenland might be a good option. Just to give us... In effect, the colonial range, which is the main thing limiting us, is measured from your nearest fully developed, unblockaded port so a colony in Greenland would actually really help. I suppose it's actually worth looking at this although we're not going to have a colonist for a bit. In effect to send the colonist here it actually tells you why you can't so we've got you have no colonists to send but we're also being told that the province is too far away. Our colonial range is 325, Eric's Fjord is 481 we really need to get somewhere in the Caribbean which is actually not quite as far where we might be able to get is here no, it's still too far so we're going to need to improve our colonial range anyway so this is why I didn't go for it too early I mean we might oh, ships are taking damage, that's not good might lose one, hopefully not we might have been able to like go here or something because it's not quite as high value I would expect Portugal and Spain to get all these oh what about this one that is probably our best option if it hasn't been taken but we still can't reach it so exploration ideas should increase our colonial range, but we could have had exploration ideas fully maxed out and been unable to explore, well unable to colonise, so that is why we went for it third. But it does mean that we really need to get a move on now. Okay, should be able to fabricate an overclaim, let's go for this one leaving England for now until our existing claims have all gone so there are three more that need to die may not make a move on either country it's just opportunistic aha! speaking of opportunistic right ok so were we improving with Bohemia? I think we were Apparently, Austria is not willing to join in because they hate them. So that leaves them with Mainz and Lipper. Yeah, 
pretty sure we can do this. So it's not much, but it allows us to chip away a little bit more of a Holy Roman Empire. And seeing as we're forced to do that slowly anyway, this is a great time to do it because our army's still down, we still have a bunch of loans, so there are strict limits on how big a war we can fight. I don't think I'd want to fight England with an army this small. Triangle trade. So yeah. Plus these lands are pretty valuable. And the Netherlands are the second biggest exporter of food in the world. They're also probably going to have a lot of revolts, but one of the advantages of being France is because we're right next door, it's not as hard to put them down. I had a bit of a nightmare playing as Spain. Oh, brilliant. So we've got extra fort defence. I don't think we'll need it, but you never know. Bourgeoisie refusing to pay. Either way, there are some bad things, so let's force them to pay with the user money. Uh, yes, I would love to repay that loan. We're now down to seven. We're getting there. <laughs> Very slowly getting there, which is good because colonizing is really expensive. Okay, we've lost another of our claims on England, that's fine. So I'm guessing... Oh yeah, that's the mates. Right, cool. And they have gone. So they're probably up for making peace. You can give us another 35 ducats, which is fine. So it just leaves Lipper. I think our allies will also be able to take out. Yeah. So we're good. Hopefully we can take these guys as soon as the castle falls. Every individual country automatically gets a castle in its capital province so a lot of the time when we take a province like this although it has a castle when we take it bizarrely the castle will vanish as soon as it's no longer a capital province okay can I make peace and annex you? I can there we go, so if I just move the next door which is just enough supporters You'll see that there's no longer a, a castle symbol. Demanding unlawful territory, and I'm going to say no. They'll get over it. Okay, independence for salute, so. Turin. Fair enough. Going to have to head down here, which is unfortunate because it can't support the army. It's like Geneva is the closest place which actually can, so if we head there first, at least we'll be sort of nearby. We might want to consider building some more castles at some point. Just not right now. Fabricate another claim. Almost got all the claims we can get now. Oh, brilliant. So this is our final defensive idea. So we can start purely working on military tech and be behind everyone on military technology. Just checking out France's own ideas. Interesting. Okay. Move the time on. I 
that now in theory it might now be worth taking these ideas even though there's no institution given as a penalty I'm conscious that there's a bit of a gap after your first three ideas so I'm just thinking because it does give us a bonus in getting new ideas it might be more efficient to finish the idea group New practical merge sort of heretical, so we lose prestige or we lose diplomatic power. Prestige is probably too important. And we've got room for another idea. Speaking of prestige, we should probably get Bless Ruler. Very worried about our legitimacy being so low, but it is going up. Hopefully it'll be back up reasonably high by the time we need it. <laughs> Just checking. Actually we should uh, get a claim on Ghent now as well. Burgundy, nope, they will also still join in. Running out of people we can realistically attack now. I suppose we could try to cozy up to Milan and turn on Provence. Ooh, there's also Brabant. Okay, who's asking us? Portugal and Portuguese Brazil. I am um, technically fine with that. We will lose Kent, but England is not going to be able to do anything else. So, shouldn't be a huge worry, really. Good grief, Portugal's not looking healthy. They're basically becoming an African nation. So yeah, so England's just going to instantly move in and take Kent. There's not a lot we can do about it. But if they land any troops over here, we should be able to deal with that. Which is important. Savoyard Separatists. Okay, Salutes Separatists. So I do definitely need the army down there. Do our last claim on Austria. Stop building a spy network on them. And we'll maybe start on Brabant. Kent has been occupied by England. Well, yes, but that's not going to help your war score that much, is it? So, yeah, you've successfully occupied Kent. Congratulations. I don't think there's a huge amount we actually need to do for fear of being a useless ally. It uh, doesn't affect as much right. Let's go for trade efficiency, that will give us more money. But yeah, it's basically going to be a question of watching for England trying to invade, but otherwise we can mostly sit this one out, I think. I think a lot of it's more to do with the colonies. Attacking Portuguese Brazil. Ooh. Ah. Of course we can't. This is something I haven't really covered. Um, at this stage of our diplomatic technology, the only real option we have other than fabricating claims, which we can't do because we're at war, is to support rebels. That does tend to cost money, but it can cause uprisings in the country. So we could put a small amount of money to upset 
them a little. The nobles would cost a lot of money. Neither really seemed like a very good option, in all honesty. I don't really think England is going to be our biggest threat anyway. So I don't care bother. I was only thinking about it because the spy networks reached 100. Ooh. Okay. See, part of me is wondering if I should help, but I just know if I send an army down there to help them, I'll have an uprising immediately and then England will invade, so it's just not worth it. We will just sit this one out. It doesn't look like they're going to invade, actually. Yep, repay loan. Definitely spare no expense. How's inflation doing? It's still very high. <laughs> Reducing it quite fast, but every time we renew a loan, it goes up. Okay, let's just stop that there, because someone's attacking us. And we've just got some separatists in entirely the wrong place. I can't actually see any other attacks. My marriage with Scotland has ended. Oh, I see. That's being counted as being occupied by us, even though we had nothing to do with taking it. Right, fair enough. I shall ignore that then. Not really our problem, once again. These rebels most certainly are. Speaking of rebellious people, we could probably risk... Oh, interesting. Normally I'd go for military next, but we do need to get our exploration moving. So I might do Land of Commerce. Should have done this a while back because we had so much crown land. Of course. Though we weren't really in danger of needing to seize any. Possibly even do Primacy of an Ability as well. Oh no, we lose 10 crown land. Right, let's not risk that. Then we need to seize some more land first, but this land of commerce will give us plus one diplomatic power a month, which will help with exploration ideas. Probably should have done that much earlier. Okay, clergy want yet another house of worship. They want us to redraw a restore a legitimacy. I am okay with that, but because it will probably happen and the bourgeoisie want a marketplace. On this occasion I might go for... a little risky actually, legitimacy defended. <sighs> What's this? Okay, let's pause because this is getting out of hand. Right, we get this sometimes. It happens, I think, when you have a couple of advisors who are both related to money. So, they're going to suggest that we vastly increase mercantilism at the cost of stability, which is probably a good thing, especially for a trading nation. Uh, we can also get rid of one of them and get a boost to administrative or diplomatic power, or get rid of both and get a boost to both. So, even though... In theory, this is worth more than money. This is quite a boost in mercantilism. I mean, it really is. The papal blessing will give us one at a time. So I will actually go for this. Plus, it allows us to keep both advisors. Okay. So an ability proposal will be a risk. 
but it may just happen on its own. It is going up. How much chance do we have of a Regency Council? None whatsoever. I think it might be worth going for it. Even though we do need these which will give us money and it's nice to build a marketplace because we don't make many of those. Going to actually go for this because it does increase diplomatic reputation. And I'm concerned about legitimacy myself. And it is going up. So hopefully we'll fulfill that without hardly even trying. We'll probably go for the legitimacy papal blessing as soon as we get a chance at it. Okay, military access cancelled. We won that battle. Lost some stability thanks to the mercantilism thing, which is fine. I think... Oh, right, yeah. Probably better had to go down there. I don't know if Provence is going to get our land back for us. If not, we'll go back up and get it. But for now, we should probably go and sort out the separatists. Otherwise, we're only going to spread. Ah, Provence have sorted it out. They're really making it hard to turn on them. I realise I've stopped doing exploration, partly because we got damaged last time. So I'm thinking we possibly can't go much further yet. And partly because... Invasion. Incoming. Partly because at the moment we're at war with England, so I'm staying out of the water. Tempting though it is, because that isn't actually that big a fleet. I think our fleet is entirely made of transport, so it's still better than ours. Ooh, idea. Okay, we now have a colonist, but can we actually send the colonist anywhere? We can't. I don't think there is anywhere within reach that we can actually send the colonist to. So hopefully as we gain more exploration ideas, we will have our colonial range increased. I think there's also an advisor that increases colonial range, which may be worth looking into. So that salute so has sorted that one out for us, thank you very much. Ironically, some of their separatists are our next rebellion, so let's head to Geneve, so we're at least sort of nearby. Can always come back up if England invade again. Right, so advisors, is there a colonial range one? There is not. I'm pretty sure they're diplomatic advisors. Okay, 50% complete. Can we make peace with Portugal for money? We can, but we don't have any diplomats. Would it be better to wait till the end? Would it even... Do we have claims? We do have claims. Would it even be worth starting our own war? It would be worth starting our own war. Okay, so we will have... I haven't been paying enough attention here. Get a claim on Ghent and stop building spy network. Brabant. There's only one province we can claim, so we may as well stop building the spy network there as well. So as soon as we get our diplomat back, should immediately launch an attack on Burgundy. So what are our actual cl claims? We've got Lille. And... Refor. Actually fascinating that we don't have a claim to this land here. <sighs> I'm 
would love to go and take out that army immediately. Still, we can't afford to wait until Austria is willing to join in, so let's just go straight into it. So we don't have any allies for this one. So, we're going to have to take everyone out all by ourselves. No vassals either. Could be a nuisance, although at least we don't have to worry about getting land first this time, so that's something. But it does sort of mean that we might want to think about Think it really. Hmm. Yes, I could bring this army over. Get them a bit of combat experience. Not expecting any of the opponents to be very tough. So that army may actually be enough. At least it allows us to do stuff while we're sieging this castle. Mercenaries for less maintenance. Which sounds nice. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we should definitely go for this one. Ooh, might side of an ability. Even though I'm gaining influence is generally not a good thing. Oh, I'm calling an ally. Bohemia, okay, seems like a waste, but then when else are we going to call them in? So let's just go for it. Settler increase, do we have a clo- Oh, we do, there we go. Overseas exploration, colonial range plus 50%. That will do it, I think. Okay, let's take this land from Burgundy, but having called Bohemia in, I suspect we're not going to have to worry too much. Reformation, okay. So they're going to try and do the counter reformation. Fair enough. Ah, uh, we must have gained the ability to have more states. So these are states that we weren't able to make due to lack of admin technology. I'm guessing fulfilling the administrative ideas idea group has allowed us to have more policy. We can embrace the counter reformation. Well, we can try. Does mean things are going to cost us more. That's interesting. I'm not entirely sure we want that. Oh, discipline. Definitely worth having them, seeing as we're in the middle of a battle. Griefed us out of a castle as well. I didn't actually realise. If I'd known, I would have gone for this one instead. Okay, well, that's worrying. Yeah, there's no castle here, at least. But our army isn't very big. Where's Bohemia when you need them? Oh, there they are. Cool. They're, they're coming. Slowly but they're coming, and at least we actually have this land now. I've got plenty of manpower, so in theory... It bothers me that they're voluntarily attacking us, it makes me feel like we're bound to lose.
they were doing really well and then yeah so they've actually wiped out our colonial army again that's annoying Never mind, Bohemia's doing well. We just have to rebuild the army and we should get this claim. That's not good. That's the naval tradition. So the advantage of re-reformation, counter-reformation, is that we will get yearly papal influence but that's the only advantage so I think I might just not okay Get over and do this siege as well got some cause to make I didn't actually realize oh I see yes we did call them it's because of states fine that is fine okay Memogram wants peace I am happy with that Happy for peace with anyone except Burgundy. The other advantage of doing a war now is that hopefully our war exhaustion won't be any worse than it would be if we were just involved in Castile's war. So I feel like we can stay in Castile's war without feeling like we're losing anything. Which is good. I don't particularly mind getting good ally points if we can get them. Might make peace as soon as our war ends though. Might be able to get some money out of Portugal, you never know. Alright, we actually can't make these into cores. Hmm. At least yet. Separatists have finally risen up. Well, can't deal with them right now. Maybe Bohemia will deal with them. And if not... Well, maybe we will deal with them. Who's this? Right, this is actually Burgundy. I can accept that. I know it leaves them with two provinces, but... Uh, Can always build a spy network so in terms of yes yeah, so that's given us another imperial province so we can expect another message from the emperor uh, portugal portugal what will you give us loads of money please give us peace then because i would absolutely love to pay off some loans emperor demands unlawful territory again no thank you of a decision, Edict de Nantes. Yes, let's go for that. So that makes us more able to cope with having heretics in the nation. Fulfilled another. Oh, here we go. Picardy, that's good, that should give us some more claims. Brilliant. Brilliant. So we possibly don't need to make any more claims because we've just been given some on the silver platter. Well, actually, we might need one for this. We seem to have missed that one somehow. Cool. I can only think Austria has been quite busy. <laughs> <laughs> They've allowed us to take quite a bit of stuff. We can become Defender of the Faith. I can't say I'm keen. That could have us... So this basically allows us to gain a bunch of prestige, gain some missionaries, and it basically makes us the Defender of, in this case, the Catholic Faith. The problem is it means that any Catholic who's attacked by a non-Catholic can drag us into a war. 
and if we refuse we take a prestige hit and instantly lose this thing we paid 500 ducats for. So I'm thinking as France, let's just not. I'm not really planning on getting that heavily involved. Got an option to convert the province. Do we even care? Is what I'm thinking. There are some drawbacks to... Let's just move up there for now. There are some drawbacks to religious unity. But our religious unity at the moment is over 100%, so we're fine. So I don't know if we actually need to convert the province. What we do need is cause. So the main cause we need are these ones which are causing us overextension. Those are the ones that will take time to do, so let's do those first. Oh, yes. So this is another thing. <laughs> Um, and we should probably cover it next time to be fair because we have gone a bit over so let's just pause this for now if it will actually let me close it seeing as we've just finished all the wars and we are doing a little better I think we'll hopefully be able to get the loans down something reasonable finally so yeah things are finally looking a bit better we haven't actually managed to start colonizing yet but i think we will very soon as soon as we get that colonial range increase so we will have to leave that for next time so yeah thank you for watching and i will see you then